This is second shot for Bermister. Ball a little bit above his feet. Pins in the back left corner. Got a big slope just beyond the pin. Anything long left is a no-go. Anything short, you've got an uphill slope as well. So looking to carry this all the way. Maybe a couple of yards right, that's the play. Ooh. Spectacular. Really is. Superb shot there from Dean Burmester. You heard the difficulty there. You don't want to go past the hole. You don't want to miss it left. Quite sure there was a rumble out there somewhere. Do hope not. Looks fine out of our window as we watch Burmester and the formality of his birdie at four. Nicely done. So he's under par. Now that wasn't a driver. I think that was a fairway. Fairway wood. No. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. Where's that? Caught the front edge of that bunker. It's okay though. He, I mean, he can literally just duff that out the bunker. It'll roll all the way down to the hole. To your buddy, Dean Permister. We'll talk about it in a minute. His right hand sleeve, your right hand sleeve, right shoulder, birdies for rhinos. There we go. Well done. Some, some money for the rhinos there. Well done. There you Bam. go. Two birdies in three holes for Burmester. Just in that green night, Heron. I mean, there's just so much to see and to, to absorb when you're here. This would be some part. Oh, no. Burmy said he, to me on Monday, he's been really disappointed with his putting, hitting the ball as good as he has his whole career. Um, and just recently, the putts have stopped dropping. I'd imagine just looking to draw this one a little bit. Start it a few yards right of the pin. Keep the flight down a touch. We've seen a few easy swings. Where you see that three-quarter follow through. Might see that again right now. Wind's just died a little bit. The flat's not moving at all, but I'm looking at the tops of the trees and it's definitely still there. It's a good shot. Nice up your putt. He's left himself. But he's a perfectionist. You know, Dom, I must say that the last few tournaments that we've played here in Southern Africa have been phenomenal on great golf courses. We played Houghton, which was exquisite. Then the Blair Athol, now Leopard Creek. Next week, Bon Chuzzi. The week before that, the Ned Bank at Gary Player Country Club. That's unbelievable golf courses. There we go. There's another one for birdies for rhinos. To Dean Burmester at the 11th. Is that going to spin or not? Starting to come back down the slope. Slightly closer than uh, Schwarzel was, so it doesn't generate quite as much spin. Nice and tidy. Now Dean Burmester, this downhill, this is a very quick putt for him. Just heard that Schwarzel already tapped it in for a birdie. Just look how fast this is. Beautifully hold. Oh, yes, sir. have expected that to grip a little more yet. I think you're going to be a little bit mystified by that. It sounded nice. Strike was good. Young male bushbuck. A bushbuck. Glorious, isn't it? NC glorious. TJ, I'm going to say it. This is my favourite hole in the world. I was going to say on the golf course, in the world. It's spectacular. When you go up the TV tower and you just see what's on the left of this hole, you can see the Kruger Park. There's a lot of people that wouldn't argue with that on that one. It's a beautiful hole. It's a fantastically well-designed hole. 
the views are superb and sometimes a great halt could just pull the best out of you what a shot that was by Berbister so once again up to the green and after that fantastic approach shot this is an eagle butt for Dean Burmester got to be thinking there's a little bit of left to right on this you said it done that's exactly the line no more than the left edge difficult not to get distracted Pot for eagle oh that's a pity such a good second shot just I think over borrowed just a touch there and it is a birdie for Burmester there at the 13th, so he is at four under par and just a couple of shots back. Still got a couple of par fives to come. I just think Burmester's questioning the wind a bit. It's completely died down. 129 yards to go, pin in the back right corner. Quite intimidating, you've only got six yards beyond it. You need to be spot on with the number. Okay, it's a chance. Up on the green with Dean Burmester for his birdie. Beautifully hauled. Missed a couple of short ones, but that does make up for one of those at least. He had his dad there last week, who's now gone back home to Zim, and he's got his mum here this week. <laughs> 17. Burmester. Look at that. Look at the trajectory. Kept it low. Oh, that's going to still be running next month. Wonderful tee shot for Dean Burmester at 17. This is just a three quarter wedge shot into the pin. Oh, How many more iron shots are we going to see that nearly go in? <laughs> and to the 18th tee, and Dean Burmester. And this will be a ripper. This will be long. Wherever it finishes, it'll be far from the tee. Bunkers all down the left-hand side, haven't you? You've got the, uh, the stream that runs down the right with some trees, and that is... Obscene. Yes. Is the word you're looking for. Yes. Before you say it. That is just absolutely... I, Tony, I don't think that'll be more than a wedge. I don't think it will be. I can't wait to hear what Burmester's got left here. I'm about to put a smile on your face, TJ. <laughs> this Hello. drive has gone 396 yards, which means Burmester has got 155 yards left for a second shot into this par five. Is it into the wind? Wind straight off the right, pins right at the back as well. What a beauty, what a chance. I hope Johan Rupert doesn't hear that because I'm telling you they're <laughs> going to move the clubhouse to the right and push the screen 40 yards further back next year. So, second time he's had a pretty good look at Eagle, isn't it? So it is good to see him back. He is a character, and it is a birdie at the last for Dean Burmester. In fact, it's a birdie, birdie finish, and Dean Burmester leads the way. Seven under, 65 for him on this opening day of the Alfred Dunhill Championship. Dean, great stuff today, 65 for your opening round. It felt like as though those tricky pins out there, you made it look very easy. Can you just sum it up for us? Inz, I think you were, uh, you were the difference, weren't you? I mean, one on-course chat saying I need to make more, more birdies for rhinos, mm -hmm. and boom, that's exactly what happened. Um, what a back nine. Some of the best I've played in a little while, so I'm, I'm happy to do that.
And just describe to us the conditions out there. It felt as though the wind picked up and then it died down a bit. Was it quite tricky to judge at times? Yeah, very tricky. Um, you know, we had up to three clubs at, at times and then we had nothing. And then it was moving around as well. You know, the 15th hole was, <laughs> you know, the tee shot was downwind and then my ball got mid flight, went into the wind. Mm. And then, you know, the, the shot, the third shot was kind of into off the left, into off the right, all over the place. And then we got to 16 and there was no wind. Mm. And it was like, all right, well, this is, you know, but managed to deal with it. And I think all three guys really didn't do a bad job considering. Yeah, well, great stuff today. It looks like you need to go back to daddy duty. So I'll let you go. Thank you yeah, very much. Back on some fishing this evening for sure. Okay, yeah. enjoy. Cool, thanks. <laughs> to watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.